so as Paul talks about the predatory forces that are operating in the world at the end of the age, in 2 Thessalonians 2, he says, and at that time, before the return of Christ, he says very sadly, there's going to be a great falling away. Jesus says the same thing in Matthew in 24, in the Olivet Discourse, he says, many will abandon the faith. They lose heart out of some sort of disappointment or sense of abandonment or betrayal by God. I don't know all the reasons. You know yours. I have mine. There's just this temptation to give up, to give in, to walk away. And it's happening on a large scale right now. Good people are giving up on their father on Jesus, on the power of the Spirit of God in them. They're just walking away. Those are the predatory forces in the world coming against the human heart. This is the enemy trying to sow that disappointment and division, even desolation, into the human heart. And the glory of the Lord fills the temple. The glory of the Lord gives us the power to say no. And to resist all that, no, you can't have my heart. No, you can't have my faith. No, I am not quitting. I'm not throwing in the towel. I love God. He loves me. I don't understand everything that's happened in my life. I need his healing grace in the places where I've experienced the, the war of this age and the trauma and the heartbreak. Yes, we need care in our hearts. But the glory of God strengthens us not to give in. That's why this is so important. 